going on guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it your returning subscribe as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support guys i want to talk about something that happened yesterday and uh, i was saving it today to do it because i wanted some more details to come out about why somebody would do such a thing in a public place this story is out of cleveland and uh, it aired on the local news out there and it's about this woman here this woman I don't even want to say her name. Did something in the store when she was ordering food and didn't get things her way. That like is beyond just rational thought. This woman, when she didn't get her way. In fact, you know what? I'm not even going to tell you all about it. Guys, don't take my word for it of this being disgusting. Look for yourself and trigger. This might be a trigger warning that this might cause throat to go in the back of your mouth. Check it out. Well, if I'm not eating, nobody's eating. So I proceeded to take strands of my hair and sprinkle it on the food. You heard her. Talisha Jacobs so upset with the service at a local restaurant that she admittedly contaminated the food. Thanks for joining us on 19 News at 3. I'm Nicole Versansky, and it is a shocking video. You see it here behind me. 19 News first showed you yesterday. So the woman caught on camera sprinkling her hair onto the food at Chill Peppers Fresh Mexican Grill over on East 185th Street. Now at 3, she's telling her side of the story, saying she's justified. Winnie George just spoke to her in a story you'll see on Just One Station. I was wrong for that, but it was provoked. I don't want to look like I'm just some mean person or an irate customer because that's not it. Take a look at your screen. That's Talisha Jacobs putting her hair all over the food at Chili Peppers Fresh Mexican Grill. 19 News first shared it on Tuesday. After seeing our story, Jacobs called me wanting to explain what happened. She admits to being angry after not getting what she was willing to pay for. I said, can I get extra meat in my tacos? I said, I'll pay the extra, for the extra scoop, which was $2.50, and she could separate it between my four tacos. The manager then stepped in and told me I could not get extra meat or I would not be getting all of my toppings. I said, I never heard of that. She said, well, that's you can't get extra meat. This is where things get crazy. The restaurant's managers claim Jacobs became aggressive because she didn't want to wait until the taco meat was fully cooked. According to Jacobs, that's far from the truth. She says the manager told her to get out. In response, I said, no, I cannot. Jacobs claims finally one of the employees did make her tacos with extra meat. But at that point, the manager didn't want to do business with her anymore. She said, Throw that away. I said, okay, well, if I'm not eating, nobody's eating. So I proceeded to take strands of my hair and sprinkle it on the food. Do you think you deserve any type of punishment for this? Honestly, I was willing to pay for whatever the condiments that I did mess up, but it's like I said, it's not a thousand dollars worth of food like they said. Jacob says she was a regular customer at the Mexican Grill, but now she will never set foot inside there again. Never. And I wouldn't recommend anybody to go there because if the employees are allowed to disrespect the customers like that, that that vibe alone would not want you wouldn't want to eat there. Now, police are involved. Jacob says she spoke to a detective. And as of right now, she's not facing any charges. All right, guys, that's the story. This lady right here is disgusting. She sat up there and she said, oh, in typical juggernaut fashion, if I ain't eating, I mean, nobody and proceeded to take pieces of her hair and sprinkle that shit all over the damn food. The hell is wrong with us? There's a lot of juggernauts out there, different species and subspecies. This right here is just one of them. Species name, Juggernautus unsanitarius. Nasty. The worst kind. Come up in your damn place, shoot hair in your face. Nobody's safe around her. If anybody ever finds hair in that food at that Mexican restaurant, chances are it's remnants of this tragedy right here. You want in the kitchen, 
Not all the way in the kitchen, just halfway in the kitchen. This count is the kitchen too, I guess. Pulled it out, duck lipping, sprinkling like it's pepper or salt. Give your own special ninja seasoning in a damn Mexican restaurant. You know what I wish? I wish they had locked that door and them essays or whoever it was jumped over there and shoved jalapenos in your ass after they beat your butt naked. They need to come out with a rule when anytime this type of stuff come out, call it the Stevie rule. I'll take credit for it. When you go in the store, they got every right to beat your ass butt naked and run you out the store like my man when his titties was jumping in that other store I did trying to steal the jewelry. The fat dude. This is unacceptable. Businesses have policies. Food uh, service places that serve food have certain ounces that they give you. Anything outside of that, you got to pay for. Now, I did understand when she said, hey, I'll pay for it. Some stores don't have that policy, especially if they're privately owned. I don't know if this place right here was a national franchise or whatever, or just something local that's family owned. Their rules are different than Subway and all these other places. People know this. They do. You just wanted to act a fool because you felt as though you would do that. One lady caved in, but the manager was like, oh, hell no. Throw that shit in the trash. Don't give her nothing now because she didn't show her butt. Why do we do this? And then on top of that, I think it was a pissing match between her and the manager. Both of them going up. It was like a silent cat fight. After you did that, you ain't getting nothing. And I side with the manager. But then again, I do feel a little bit about her wanting to buy something if that's the case. But if they say no, ma'am, it's no. You know that. I don't understand how people come into a store and act like they run the place and then they do a bunch of damage or do something that's messed up. Listen, there are other people sitting there looking. They will always remember that. They probably lost a lot of customers that day. She talking about, I won't be back and I suggest anybody else not to go back neither. Baby, after you did that shit, I don't think anybody else has stepped foot in there knowing that there's ninja hair all over the damn place. Because you want to act a certain way because you want something your way. It ain't fucking Burger King. It was a Mexican joint. Take your tacos with the less meat on them, shut the fuck up, and go out the door or, or don't buy them at all. It ain't the only taco joint out there. I don't understand this. I don't. We are silly people sometimes. She felt stupid. Called the news herself. I got something to say. Let me explain myself and look even dumber. See how they cut it up? If I ain't eating, nobody eating. Mm. Dumb shit. Dumb shit. Edge is already gone. Just pulling out more. Suicidal. Don't care nothing about beauty. Don't care nothing about being feminine, ladylike. Nothing. I'm doing. I'm gonna do what I want to do, and that's it. Big disconnect between us, man. For real. For real. Some of us can't build. You can't build with now or beyond repair. She sat up there and battled to the end to prove she was right. I know what I did was wrong, but when they throw that butt out there, that means fuck what I just said. This is how I really feel. When I seen it, it made me sick to my stomach. You know, as a business owner, you know, a lot of people don't know how businesses are run and the effect that some of the, these tantrums they throw have on business owners. Seriously, they don't. You steal from a company, you go in and rob a company with customers and all of this stuff, that has a negative effect, not just on that business from a fear standpoint, but also on the community to where people don't even want to come in your area and spend their money. Think about it. This is stupid. I mean, I don't even know what to say. Why would you call the news and still look dumb when you explained it? It's like we have no sense of accountability at all. I, man, listen. That's unsanitary. Nobody else in line that was waiting just like you did anything to you. But the only people you hurt was them. Now they had to go other places because nobody knew where you put your ninja naps all over the damn place. Then nobody knew where they fell. It's disgusting. That is not adult. You threw a tantrum in the store and then he charged you a thousand dollars or fined you or whatever. That food ain't worth it. You don't know what the fuck it's worth. That shit was in big ass things. You cost them a lot of money. 
And a lot of time they might have had to temporarily shut down to clean up that situation. Now, Board of Health might have to be called in before they can even reopen that uh, area where they serve the food. She caused a lot of damage, ladies and gentlemen. All jokes aside, she caused a lot of damage. And for what? You never got the fucking food. And now you're saying you're not coming back there when you could have walked out the door in the first place. You are a valued customer if you come there every time. The way you acted made them say, you know what? Fuck you and the times you came in here. You can go and kick rocks and count them as you go down the block. Pissed you off. All of a sudden, pew, 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 pew. You buckshotting all over the goddamn food. Man, tell me in the comment section, man. What y'all think? I mean, as a business owner, that's messed up. That's the wrong thing to do. Sometimes when things don't go your way and you think you're in the right, report them to the Better Business Bureau. Or better yet, don't come back and write a good report on social media. They do work. Trust me. You would have got a lot more than just extra meat if you did that. And I'm sure they would apologize and you would have had it your way. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hell. The bonnet's starting to look good in restaurants now. Shit. See you in the next video. <laughs> Y'all be good.